Yep, the earth is flat. The great dragon, the serpent, Satan, the devil, has deceived the whole world. Please share this video. Please share this video. Everyone, everyone around the world deserves to know the truth. The truth that humanity has been lied to and deceived for long enough. You, your mum, your dad, your gran, your granddad, through all your generations, well, going back certainly quite a long time, we've been lied to, we've been deceived to make us feel like nothing. <clears throat> so, back in July, did a post shared about this gravity thing. <laughs> quite an incredible, quite an incredible video on the BBC, believe it or not, <laughs> the incredible Ibex defies gravity. <laughs> so, um, hallelujah, praise the Lord. So then a few days ago, <clears throat> yesterday, in fact, 24th, I did this. And then what I've, what I've done, I've shared, I've shared a link to, to this video on a few posts that I've done previously. And um, I had, I've been posed a question. If the world is flat, how does that work with the sun and the moon? <clears throat> so with this image here, this little visual thing, whatever it is. So when you look at that, you could think, oh yeah, <clears throat> how could the earth possibly be flat? <clears throat> because from what we're told, the sun is 864,000 miles in diameter, apparently. This is on a NASA website. There yeah, that's the sun. And apparently the sun is 109 times wider than the Earth. But remember, me and you and our family, we've been lied to throughout our entire life. So, <laughs> let's just take a look. So, in the case of this, imagining that the, the sun is 109 times wider than the earth, and however many <laughs> it's just ridiculous. So imagine the sun now. Say the sun is the um the, the lights behind me, so they're just emitting light. They're just emitting light on the earth. And so if the earth is flat, then where's night time? But that's, of course, based on the lie that the sun is as big as the, we've been told the sun is and that the sun is however many millions or billions of miles away from the Earth is. So, let's just turn off the big light first for the big lie, for the big deception. So... <clears throat> Let's just go back to um, 
just go back to creation. Just turn this. To... We don't want any. Um, we don't want any false lighting. <clears throat> to turn this around so let's get this right Now we're talking. Share this video. Praise the Lord. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. And let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. And the evening and the morning were the second day. And God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth. And the gathering together of the waters called seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, let the earth bring forth grass. The herb yielding seed. And the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind. Whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. And the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after his kind and the tree yielding fruit whose seed was in itself after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the third day. And God said, let there be light in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days. And yours. And let them be for light in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. So, if this is the sun and it is that far away from the earth, the flat earth, then of course there is no darkness on the earth. But what happens? When maybe, just maybe, you've been lied to throughout your entire life. And then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. What happens as the sun gets closer and closer and closer to the earth?
And there we have it. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. The light always shines in the darkness and the darkness can never extinguish it. May you never again be deceived by man. Heavenly Father, I ask you now in the name of Jesus, everyone watching this under the sound of my voice, whether now or live or at some stage in the future, may the scales fall from their eyes, Father. Set the captives free. Give them the eyes to see and the ears to hear. Make them come alive in Christ. Fill them with your Holy Spirit. Fill them, fill them with your Holy Spirit. May they never be deceived again. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth and the life and no one can come to the Father except through him. God bless you. Please share this message far and wide. It is a time for humanity to rise up from their slumber, to awaken to the truth that our identity is in Jesus Christ and in Jesus Christ alone. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Agape Paul.